the uh, month of calving here in Northeast Wyoming. And today is the day that we go, really, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Hi guys, welcome back to the 30 and 30, 30 vlogs in 30 days here on our Wyoming life, all the way through the uh, month of calving here in Northeast Wyoming. And today is the day that we go, really, you've got to be freaking kidding me. That, my friends, is our brand new John Deere Gator 835M sitting on a broken shoe. Well, we made it 210 miles without a flat tire. Out here on the, on the prairie, uh, there's cactus, there's all kinds of crap that you can hit, and obviously something got stuck in the tire. Now, a couple different options we could, uh, take this tire to town, get it fixed, put it back on. We're gonna have another flat tire not too long after that. And that's where downtime really comes into play here. So we have another option uh, which is available to us. And luckily I had a chance to talk yesterday with the folks from Michelin because one of the big questions that we've had is will the tweels work with this Gator. This machine weighs about 800 pounds more than our old Gator, the 825i, and uh, we weren't really sure if the tweels would work uh, for, for this application. The other thing was that we went back and forth on whether or not it was the tweels that actually caused the break in the frame on the old Gator, and we came to the conclusion that it was not uh, based on one little thing, and that's the fact that the 825i, which we had before, came out in 2011. It was the first year kind of of these, uh, these crossover uh, gators that were coming out. And since then, they have made a, John Deere has made a design change, and that's to the exact part that broke on the old gator. If you remember, it was part of the A bracket, uh, this lower bracket that actually broke. And the way it was, it was set up before, it was actually bolted directly through the frame. Now you can see they've actually incorporated hangers on both the front and the back. It's kind of hard to see back there, but there are now hangers for those suspension arms. On the old Gator, there wasn't. They were just bolted directly into the frame. And that makes me think that somebody at John Deere realized that that was a problem, having them bolted directly into the frame like that. Um, so I'm gonna go with my gut here and say that the problem has been fixed. So the other problem that we ran into was with Michelin and Tweels themselves. The other Tweels were sized for the Gator, the 825i. That Gator weighs 800 pounds less than this one. So I've been going back and forth with my guy at Michelin, and this is, this is the official ruling that I got back. Uh, from what we can find, those tweels will fit. Unfortunately, there isn't any info on this machine within their databases yet, but the bottom line is if the bolt patterns, pattern is the same, they should carry the weight. Based on that information, I am going to, and the fact that I have a flat tire and can't get it fixed today, and I can't find my, my plug kit, which is floating around here somewhere, and I need to check cows, and I'm kind of annoyed about it. Um, we are going to throw the tweels on this machine and see how they fit and how they ride. And if there's too much squashing going on, um, we know that the machine is too heavy, uh, but we'll, we'll know pretty dang quick uh, once we get out in the field with it. So we are going to change tires.
right, so there we go. A Formula One pit crew, I am not, but you know what? Not too bad for time. You can see uh, the difference between a t the way the tires ride. And this is kind of a good thing about the twills is that you have a lot more of the tire in contact with the ground at any given time. Um, that's what really helps you out with the twills. Obviously, you're not gonna get a flat tire. It doesn't look like it's riding any differently here than it did on the old one, uh, which was a lot lighter. So that makes me think that they are correct in saying that these tires will handle the weight, but we don't know that for sure. So now we get to uh, take it out for a test drive and see how she does as we continue. We haven't even started yet. As we uh, get out for our calf count for this week, let's go get her done. First test, up and over the ramp. All right, so here's the skinny. I've been used to driving on twills with the old Gator for quite a while, but this really doesn't feel a whole lot different than, uh, than driving on the regular tires. I think you lose a little bit of suspension um, just because you don't have that squishiness of the tires, but you do have a little bit of flex. Uh, so it's not it's not exactly horrible. Um, the rider the ride can be just a little bit more rough. Um, turning is a little different because you don't have the bias of the tires to uh, to aid in that turning motion. But overall, if it, it beats a flat tire any day of the week. Alrighty, guys, we're. Uh, Heading up here to get started on our calf count. We've got a few up here that we can knock off the list right away. First, let me give you a quick rundown of, uh, of how we're looking uh, for the month so far. So there are currently 56 calves on the ground. They average eight days old. We got 30 bulls and 26 heifers. Uh, we are expecting in the first uh, cycle of calving here, to calve about 25 more cows before the end of the month. So that averages out, what, about five a day, six a day, something like that, uh, that we still have to finish up in order to, to kind of track according to what our vet uh, had for prey checking. Now that's not exactly a certain thing, and obviously we don't work in a boardroom, so quotas really don't matter. They're gonna have their calves eventually, but um, it does kind of give us a rough idea of how many calves we're looking at having uh, before the end of the month. So. 56 now, we'll add on another 25 or so. So that'll put us uh, right around that 80 calves by the end of the month. I have my calf list here with me. This is actually a printout that we get from the program Cattle Max, is the program that we use to track all of our cattle. And I can just mark them down as we go through. Um, I know that we had range, that one's number 15 right there. And uh, there's a couple of other ones here that I can't quite see their number. Number 19. And number 11, so 15, 19, and 11 are marked off. There's number 28, knock her off the list. There's a little one, 46, number 12 over there. Number 12, there's 14. And you got up too fast, I can't see your number. Hey, look at me. Hey, number, oh, there's number three. That would be April, number three here hanging out. Hey, number three, you're showing us your best side, aren't you? Moving over this way, 12 we've already marked down. There's number 20. And now they're starting to mix themselves up, which is a little annoying. There's number 43. This is one of our bathtub calves, number 37, and mom number 27. That's not annoying at all. All right, We've got a lot more calves to go, and as we usually do at this time and this juncture in the video, I'm gonna share some new music with you. I hope you enjoy. I've been 
been chasing down this dream for as long as I've known. Sometimes I get to thinking that my life might be wrong. I wonder what kind of man I'd be if I had a Sometimes it's hard to catch a breath If I keep doing this I might think myself to death I tried most every style around Looking for my thing I couldn't decide how I wanted to sound I was gonna sing I wasn't a punk or a hippie I was somewhere in between and Now that I'm writing country songs Don't know if it's really me All this it begins enough To drive a man insane But my mind has always been Just like the sky before the rain Keeps so twisted up sometimes It's hard to catch a breath Life. Anything to let me know that the life I'm living's right. I might start going to church again. Maybe I'll just pray. Buy some crystals and meditate on a whole bunch of sage. All this if they get enough to drive a man insane. Mama. Go, number 57 a little boy mom's 183 57 Whoa. all right let's get out of her way and head up this way This one's got a tag. This will be number 
number 25. Number 47. Number 39. 3 and 27. I think I already got both of you guys. 41, 35, 13. Hidden guy. Trying to hide. Hidey, hidey, hide. There's 54. Over here we have. You can't read your number because your air is turned down. What's your number? 30. Is that 33? 33. Where are you, kiddo? See what number your tag is, ding dong. 56. We made it through we made it through every single one. And the only one we didn't find. Number fall down. The only one we didn't find, number 22, right there. But honestly, that is not too bad. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for 22 as I keep on checking throughout the day. We're gonna head back uh, towards the towards the shop and see if our see if our wheels have fallen off yet. You want to know what I just realized? And I fell for it. Hook, line and sinker. Why we couldn't find number 22? Well, that's because number 22 is Cole, and Cole <laughs> lives in the barn. So, yeah, got me that one. Fooled me once, shame on me. Fooled me twice, shame on me too. The, uh, the twills stayed on, I think. Um, I can go ahead and torque them and, uh, and get them all set up. Ride, not horrible. Uh, they definitely seem to handle the weight. I didn't feel any, any uh, issues, but we'll keep an eye on it and make sure, and hopefully the people from Michelin don't call me and say, hey, get those things off of there before they explode, which I kind of doubt would happen, but you never know. We're gonna head over here, we're gonna check on <laughs> little Mr. 22. I cannot believe I forgot that he was in the barn. I thought about uh, April and the other and the uh, and the bathtub calf that were in the corrals, but we let them go, so I didn't even didn't even really occur to me. Hey, kiddo, there he is, number 22. I'm actually pretty impressed with us that we were able to find all 57 calves now looking for 56 we found a bonus calf guys thanks for coming along today as we uh, went out and did our weekly calf count tomorrow we've got a lot more on the way from the 30 and 30 as we work our way up to that 24 hour live stream just around the bend and some really cool stuff planned for that that i'm going to get a chance to tell you about over the next few days so thanks for coming along with me we'll see you next time right here on our wyoming life they're still on